We have aluminum foil, and aluminum foil will actually react with hydrochloric acid. And in, in this reaction, what's going to happen is the aluminum is actually going to form aluminum chloride, right? And in doing so, it's going to go from its reduced state to its oxidized state, meaning it has to give up electrons. And the question is, who does it give its electrons up to? And what it does is it gives the electrons off to the hydrogen, and the hydrogen, which is an H+, then forms H2, a gas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few little pieces of aluminum foil, and I'll put it in here. All right, and then I'm going to take some solution. This, this stuff is the works, which is basically a hydrochloric acid solution. All right, I'm going to take some of that hydrochloric acid. I'm going to pour it in here. What happens is that hydrochloric acid now is going to react, and it's going to cause corrosion of the aluminum. So the aluminum is actually, the hydrochloric acid is going to react with it, and the aluminum oxide is going to break down. Now, it takes a few minutes for that aluminum oxide to break down, and once it does that, the aluminum oxide is then going to start to, uh, it's no longer going to prevent the reaction. And you're going to have the aluminum start to form aluminum chloride. So if you watch it a little bit, you'll start to see that it's going to bubble here in a second. And, and that's where it's starting to react and form some of this hydrogen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here just as a way of keeping it from getting too hot. We'll wait till it gets going. There it goes. And we'll put this in here, and you can see that it's starting to form bubbles. And these bubbles are actually hydrogen. So you can see that every time I light it, those, those hydrogen bubbles are popping. So this is a way of, of actually showing you that aluminum oxide uh, will only protect aluminum for so long, and eventually it will uh, corrode and go back to its native state. So we've talked a lot about aluminum and its applications, um, and one of the biggest challenges with aluminum is that cost that it, it was to make because it costs so much electricity. And so it turns out it only costs about 5% of the energy to recycle aluminum as it does to form it from its natural product. And so that's why it's probably the most recycled material in the world. Uh, and, and so next time you're drinking out of an aluminum can, make sure you recycle it because obviously that's going to help in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions from all this electricity production.